must have been known that it is the center of uh, energy resources in terms of uh, oil and gas. Uh, but uh, I don't know if it is a blessing or it is, uh, you know, uh, got us where we are right now in terms of uh, security issue. And as long as we're talking about energy and security, uh, it is a security issue. Uh, uh, before I just uh, give you a summary of what I think, uh, uh, usually in the region, uh, our major problem is natural resources in terms of water in the Middle East. And uh, if you look at some of the Gulf countries like the uh, United Arab uh, Emirates, it is the highest uh, uh, polluter in terms of uh, per capita in the world. So uh, now things are changing uh, in our part of the world. But uh, I always say when you want to take a decision, there is two issues you have to discuss is the moral and the ethical issue. And, uh, you know, in most, on all religion in particular, uh, in our holy book, uh, the mighty one described his uh, Prophet Muhammad by uh, the ethical person. So ethics is an important issue even uh, from a religion, a religious point of view. And as we discussed in the last couple of days, uh, I always like to take uh, Norway as an example uh, with their trust fund and how ethical is that trust fund. And what's the nice and strange thing that to put that policy of the trust is an Iraqi guy who by ch not choice, a choice, he had to go to Norway and uh, uh, this trust fund, it's one of the biggest and the best managed uh, uh, trust fund. Uh, in our region, uh, a lot of people dependent on uh, fossil fuel and uh, actually we were over consuming and uh, we were spoiled to a certain extent. But as the industrial revolution have changed everything, I think the green revolution now is changing everything in our region and uh, in the world. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, the prices of oil now are going up uh, lately. But renewable energy prices went down. There is now uh, bids for about two cents per kilowatt hour. And the prices of renewable energy equipment went down radically that uh, it went down in the last 20 something years to 4%. This has never happened in any other resource of energy. In the past, in the mid-80s, late 80s, the kilowatt uh, peak uh, of photovoltaic uh, solar system was about $15. Now it is $0.6, and there's talks that it will go to uh, uh, about $0.5. Uh, Another issue happened is the COP21 in Paris where the countries of the world finally admitted that we have a global warming problem, which everybody didn't want to believe it. And unfortunately, in the past, even the Gulf country, the oil producing country, always tried to uh, say there is no global warming problem, we don't want CO taxes. And unfortunately, now we have the President of the United States is saying, you know, there is no global warming uh, issue, but uh, at least some of the states uh, in the United States are going against his thinking and uh, beliefs, and some of the states say we are still in, that means they are still in uh, the issue or the agreement of Paris. Another issue that's going to change the transportation uh, 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 requires access. Am I here? It's okay. Access views of
can I take this off? Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Musk of Tesla uh, came up with the concept of electrical cars in terms of large quantity in the 2006, 7, and 8. Uh, by the way, uh, electrical cars were introduced by General Motors uh, 10 years ago, but uh, because of the pressure of the oil companies, uh, the, all these cars were destroyed, not even, you know, they were leased, and when they found out that they are economically good, uh, they were actually destroyed. Unfortunately, we don't have a PowerPoint, so uh, I could have shown you some pictures. And now, most of the big companies, from Mercedes to BMW, GM, Ford, Toyota, are committed to uh, the introduction of uh, electrical cars. Another issue that's going to change the, the concept of using renewable energy is the power pack batteries, is the storage. And one of the projects in, in, in South Australia have proven that this is a very important and critical uh, technology that the one megawatt system, uh, the first uh, big system in the world, was finished, or it was from bidding to uh, uh, commissioning, it took about only uh, four months, and it paid for itself uh, in less than a year. So. In my opinion, the energy picture is changing, and people say, oh, it's going to take a long time. Well, when uh, transportation in uh, the United States changed from horse, horses pulling carriages to uh, fuel cars, it was only about 10 years, and I think things will go faster. And I always, as I always say, the train have left the station, so everybody have to catch that train, or everybody will be behind. <sighs> you know, even the Gulf country now are considering the utilization of renewable energy, and you see that the EU, Saudi Arabia, uh, are one of the largest consumer of renewable energy in the region now. And that means something, that these countries even are interested taking into consideration that they have one of the biggest uh, reserve of uh, fossil fuels in the world. What bothers me from a security point of view, as long as we talk about uh, energy security, is the nuclear uh, power plant introduction in our region. I really don't know why we need a nuclear power plant. Uh, first of all, they are too expensive. They are uh, very dangerous. We have problem with uh, waste, waste management. And if Russia and Japan failed in keeping their citizens safe from such technology, I don't know why we're even going into that direction. So uh, this is what I wanted to say, and uh, I hope I have uh, more uh, some questions from you where I can be more uh, aggressive in uh, some of these subjects. Thank you very much.